They run on batteries, save money, and keep the environment clean. That's right, but there's one thing electric cars don't do. They don't generate fuel tax to maintain our roadways. News Channel 5's Amanda Hara takes us inside a new discussion about how Tennessee can afford its infrastructure system as more and more battery-run cars come to the market. No matter how long or how far Jeff Heron drives... The pickup in this car is what amazes me most. ...he will never take this car to a gas station. His Nissan Leaf runs off a battery that he charges from his driveway. It's technology at its finest, a great way to save money, and even better for the environment. But as much as it's helping Heron, it's not helping TDOT at all. All we get is money that is paid to us when you fill up your gas tank. This year, TDOT's $1.8 billion budget, its entire fund for maintaining, repairing, and building roads, will come directly from the taxes you paid on gas, which sparks the debate about how electric car owners will pitch in. I truly believe that the electric vehicle or other modes of transportation like that will change the way we operate. TDOT Commissioner John Schroer says he's starting the discussion now to be prepared for the future. And James Arledge, owner of No Gas Transportation Sales and the first public charging station in Nashville, is joining that discussion. I can certainly understand TDOT's position and they're losing revenue when I do not fuel these with gasoline but still use the streets. So this this is an important issue that needs to be addressed. Exactly how the tax will be applied is something TDOT plans to tackle in the future once enough electric cars are on the road to make a difference. And the leaf owner John Heron says he's happy to pay his fair share for the roads. So it's just a new way of thinking. It's a different process of driving. And it's absolutely amazing. It's fantastic. Again, that's Amanda Harrow reporting there. TDOT Commissioner John Schroer says that all of this is just a discussion at this point, that taxing electric cars is years away from actually happening. Uh, he says right now, though, there's just not enough of them out on the roads to make a difference.